Hi, my name is Larry Reed, and I'm CEO of the ZK Techos North American Security Division. I'm very happy to be with you today and welcome you to the brand new ZK Techno Experience Center. This is probably the world's largest experience center devoted solely to biometric technology. This is a crowning achievement of over 20 years of innovation in biometrics. Very excited to have this opportunity to come have a walk with you. I myself have been with ZK Techo for about 10 years now, and it's probably one of the most exciting career ventures of my lifetime. At ZK Techo, it all starts, the vital core is the brain of ZK. Because if you ever think of all aspects of life, nothing is possible without you first identifying who you are, and of course you need access. You might need access to a time and attendance clock, which is where our company first became popular, and then we moved into access trouble. But you need access to everything. You need access with your cars, so we have license plate recognition. You need access to applications like point of sales terminals. It just bounces. It all starts here with the bio core, which is the brain of our company, the center of all our innovation. Nothing is possible without having biometric authentication. We have a lovely portrait of our chairman, John Che. John is at the helm of our company. He's my boss, he's my mentor. Thankfully, he's also my friend and a visionary like I've never known in my lifetime. If you allow me to repeat what John wrote, long-term success is only possible when we always hold our fear, thrive on our fear, keep it inside us. Don't look back on those which made us successful with pride. Many of our competitors continue boasting about their successes. That only leads them to fall behind. Look at those which may cause our future decline so that we can concentrate on future challenges and stay modest, stay hungry, stay flexible. We all hold those words before from Steve Jobs about staying hungry. John Che is the embodiment of that. We're always humble, we're always students, we're always learning, innovating, and that's why we're always surpassing our competitors. Come join me. We now look at the biometric history. Biometrics is not new. It actually stems back over 8,000 years. See here that biometric fingerprints were used with marriage certificates. It was also used in bartering with various different assets. We had a sheepskin that was bartered looking at fingerprints to prove identity and authenticity. Later, the approach of the 19th century, there were various British scientists that actually started beginning the creation of algorithms so that we could use fingerprints to identify and distinguish. They recognized only about 150 years ago that human beings had unique fingerprints. Even one single person has 10 unique fingerprints, multiplied by 7 billion people in the world and 70 billion unique fingerprints. You see the various doctors and scientists. As we go across the wall spinning our current technology now in the early 2000s, the ZK Techo Biochem 300 is one of the world's first long-range recognition face devices and also provided time and attendance, access control, and video surveillance. Our, our technology continues to evolve into finger vein technology, one of the most accurate means of authentication, totally fake proof. Now into iris recognition, palm vein recognition. We'll have a walk now with some of our scientists and some of the very nice patents that we've achieved over the last few years. So as we continue the tour, the next stop, here are some of our founding architects of our biometric technology from all corners of the world. Very excited, recently, Professor Ken Brownlee introduced the Silk ID sensor, which is taking ZK to the next level of fingerprint recognition technology. But of course, we're also advancing facial recognition, vein pattern recognition, non vein recognition. So if we continue along, we even have 3D fingerprint recognition. We also take tribute to some of our older devices, our traditional facial recognition devices on the market. The original use is time and attendance devices because the highest return on investment is often in a time clock. So you have hourly wage employees who um, may fraudulently punch into one another using their cards as for body, body punching. But the facial recognition, fingerprint recognition, you can not cheat anymore. But then we've taken uh, facial recognition to the next level, not just for time and attendance, but now long range facial recognition. We can match up to millions of faces all within a second. Very exciting. Which leads me to all the various awards and patents that we won through the years. 
I can't even count that many. This is such a wonderful achievement, all this wonderful technology brought to the market. So many other firms are just copying technology. ZK truly is an innovator. You can see with all the technology, all the awards, it's no wonder why we was the world's leading biometric supplier. Hi, as we continue the tour of the Experience Center, you'll note that we've now begun exploring hybrid biometric technology. ZK Checo was the first company to introduce a multi-biometric which consisted of a fingerprint and then facial recognition. And then we followed up with having a combination of fingerprint and finger vein pattern recognition reader. Now we're taking it even higher with a multi-biometric reader consisting of four biometric credentials. Any combination of fingerprint recognition, finger vein recognition, palm vein, iris, all in one single device and a card reader and passwords to ensure that users have access to doors, gates, cars, or time and attendance, or point of sales terminals, with any credential that makes them comfortable. And because we support multi-factor authentication, employers can ensure that it is in fact the person who it says they are. You can see we've also taken facial recognition to the next level, having deep learning. Applying all this technology, all these applications, as I mentioned, time and attendance, even having license plate recognition for cars, even have turnstiles, gate barriers, all using full various data credentials, even have metal detectors, ensuring your safety, all linked with all our video surveillance equipment, even x ray machines, all linked to all various different biometric credentials to ensure that the operator is within the art. We want to make sure with OSHA compliance, we don't have untrained people working with dangerous equipment. Come with me, show us more applications. You know, for guys that go as far back as I do, we all remember the IBM computers where we had centralized computing, these big, huge, massive machines. And then thanks to Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, we all went to decentralized computing at the desktop. And then Steve Jobs took it to the next level with a phone. And then cloud services became available. Now, of course, everyone is talking about the Internet of Things, IoT. Everyone needs to be IoT. But that brings all this convenience to control to consumers, whether they're being in the office and wanting to access uh, doors or accounting systems and billing systems, all from a device. But what you've also done is you've extended the network now to all those devices who have all that vulnerability. You often hear in the news when people's phones get hacked, celebrities with photographs, but Often that phone could lead to your company's vital business assets. So it's even more important you have security as the IoT expands. And of course, the key to any security is identifying who's on the network and proving they have authority. And that's where biometrics comes in. Because passwords can be misappropriated, cards can be misappropriated. With ZK technology, biometrics ensures you are who you are when you access your phone, whether you authenticate with a fingerprint or you authenticate with your face. Every aspect of your business, the joy and the convenience of the Internet of Things must be secured. ZK Biometrics will ensure that you're never at risk. As you come with me, the Experience Center is almost like, like a Starbucks where we have study centers where both employees and customers are welcome to sit down and become creative and view things. I don't mean to interrupt this young lady, but come with me as we even look at another room. So spacious, so quiet, really stimulates creativity, not just for our employees, but for customers to join us and be comfortable and relaxed. You mentioned the Internet of Things, then you can find the smart office, or the intelligent door locks. All these cloud services and these inner networks, all of them all possible through wireless technologies, whether it be Wi-Fi or Zigbee or push Bluetooth. You walk into a home, you authenticate at the door. Your house already knows what heating controls to turn on, what lighting controls to turn on, and more importantly, what environmental controls to turn off so you have energy savings as well to conserve oil and diesel fuels. So many more applications. Come on. You know, all this fabulous technology, all these amazing products available from ZK Techo, a global expansion now, and over 3,000 employees, over 23 global subsidiaries. You never forget, it's all about the people who make it happen. And the center of all, our chairman John Shea continues to inspire us to take our knowledge, take our courage to the next level. You can see how the circle unfolds. We like our customers to know who part made this happen, who continues to make it grow as we bring on more and more folks. 
We're very proud of our executive management, leaders in business, leaders in technology, leaders in the scientific community. We want all our customers also to see how proud we are of the people who build this company and those who are so welcome to join us. As we continue through the Experience Center, just to make it a little bit more obvious to those visitors, we want to introduce you to our idea of the intelligent business community. We start here with the whole idea of intelligent prisons. So often, prison guards, corrections officers will have prisoners in tow. You can have no free hand to use a card or a password. The intelligent prison system, with a simple facial recognition, the door will open. And you can also set up a man trap so that the door will lock and will not open until another door opens or closes it as well. So that's how we protect corrections officers and uh, prisoners as well. Along, we have the intelligent bank, where more and more you'll now see biometric devices at the teller. So that when people want access to their money, instead of coming with a password, they'll use now their fingerprint or their face recognition scan. Getting more popular, of course, is at the ATM, where now customers used to be worried about losing their bank card or not knowing their password or having someone look over their shoulder. Now people using palm bank readers and fingerprint readers to access their money at the ATMs. As well as access to bank vaults. Again, leveraging biometrics to make it far more convenient as well as secure when you're protecting assets. What's more dangerous than a construction site? Not only do you have the possibility of very expensive, valuable tools being stolen, but there's also some very dangerous equipment. And if you have unauthorized parties on that equipment and they become hurt or injured, often there's no insurance against that. So our construction partners are using biometric technology also to reduce their liability in case anybody hurts. In addition, we have license plate recognition because most folks who, before they even come close to a building, usually enter with a car or a truck. So now with license plate recognition, could actually control people at the gate leading to the parking lot before they even get near the building. Come join me, we're still not done. I speaking continue to the experience center, I'd like to touch upon that in some parts of the world, CK Teco is an end-to-end -end solution, especially in China, Asia, and some parts of uh, South America, where all the access control panels and the software and the reason all integrated come together nicely. But there are other markets, especially in North America and Europe, where there already are existing access control vendors. Some of the most known companies, such as Manel, such as Tyco, such as Honeywell. In those cases, those companies still lack one very important thing. They lack biometrics. Those companies are experts in access control, but they have no expertise like DK does with biometrics. Not only having accurate biometrics, but also affordable biometrics. Because as we shared, Cards can easily be misappropriated, passwords can be misappropriated. So here we have a simple example of a major access control vendor's panel tied into one of our facial recognition readers. We have facial recognition integration, fingerprint recognition integration, Zoom is offering palm vein and finger vein recognition technologies with all these needed in access control. As the tour continues, you can see how we bring all these exciting technologies together. Constantly thinking ways to innovate, constantly being creative. We always welcome our customers and our employees. Please sit down, share coffee. No kidding, it really is like a Starbucks where we just want to elicit every single creative juice in everyone's bodies. It's a place to learn, it's exciting, sharing ideas, the technology, endless. Please come and visit with us, bring your customers. Thanks again for the opportunity to share with you our Experience Center. I hope you'll come and visit it personally. I would love to have you. Thank you.